Hi, today's topic is erysiphe. Erysiphe is a fungus which causes powdery mildew disease in plants. The infection appears like white powdery patches on, on the surface of the leaf which further matures and covers the whole leaf. As you can see many, many more plants are actually uh, infected by this particular fungus erysiphe which is closer view of uh, powdery growth and uh, on maturity these white patches will turn light brown in color as you can see on the screen. This is uh, crucifer or cruciferous leaf and these are actually micro photographs of conidia. This is vegetative body, branched hyphae uh, which are septate with single nucleus in, in each septum uh, and it is superficial attached to the host only through uh, hostorium which is actually sent inside the host tissue for drawing nourishment. The vertical branches are actually nothing but these are conidiophores which are meant for uh, producing conidia or cutting of conidia. Now asexual reproduction is by, by formation of conidia. When conidia starts forming actually the uh, any of the cell will get differentiated into uh, a, a cell which, which will actually initiate grow uh, initiate actually uh, a conidiophore as you can see in figure A, B and C. It cuts off uh, a vertical branch as it is seen in figure C. This vertical branch will act like a conidiophore. Now this conidiophore will start cutting off uh, conidia in basipetal manner that means the uh, most most matured conidia will be at the top and uh, youngest conidia will be at the bottom as you can see in the figure H and G. The conidiophore actually uh, divides the, the nucleus inside the conidiophore divides mitotically and keeps on adding cell from the bottom which will later on will get converted into a conidia. At the maturity this conidium will get detached because it is actually attached with a gelatinous ring in between. This, this ring will get dry up and the mature conidia will uh, fall off and will fall maybe on some other healthy host or uh, healthy leaf. When it fa falls on the suitable surface, it will germinate and send a germ tube as you can see in the diagram. It's quite visible in diagram. The germ tube will further uh, have a, a swollen appearance and it will form apressorium and apressorial lobe. This apressorial lobe will actually penetrate inside the host cell and will, will form hostorium. The apressorium further anteriorly it will form a hypha this hypha will start growing normally and sending its hostorium uh, at the intervals into the host tissue. This is actually a simulation of uh, conidia formation and uh, as you can see the gelatinous uh, ring which is actually appearing uh, in between two conidia. This actually will dry off as the as the as this conidium will get matured at the bottom you can see a swollen portion which is nothing but it's a conidiophore now sexual reproduction takes place by this is actually a scheme we'll see this in detail in next slide it forms uh, anthridium and it forms ascogonium on some nearby branches of hyphae. As you can see visibly there is no difference between ascogonium and anthridium. But 
physiologically they 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 behave differently this ascogonium and antheridium when they come in contact with each other at the point of contact the wall is dissolved and all the contents of antheridium that is nucleus and uh, cytoplasm will be transferred to ascogonium what we call plasmogamy after plasmogamy takes place nearby hyphae to the ascogonium the growing ascogonium will actually uh, start covering the ascogonium this hyphae will start covering the ascogonium and uh, inside ascogonium few changes are taking place now actually the nuclei that is male nucleus and female nucleus they will start dividing and redividing re and forming uh, number of male and female nuclei inside after that the nuclei will stand in in a pair they will form pair and a septum will be laid in between uh, these two uh, these pairs the septum is laid in between pairs and thus the septate ascogonium will be formed meanwhile the outer side of the septate uh, ascogonium will have a hyphal envelope which will actually form cleistothecium in later part the penultimate cell of this uh, septate ascogonium will start dividing and redividing re and will start forming a uh, number of hyphae now as you can notice in in septate ascogonium as well as these hyphae there are there are two nuclei in each septum or in each cell this is actually a dikaryophase where two different or two physiological different nuclei are present within a cell and thus a dikaryophase is seen in this particular fungus during sexual phase at the tip of this dikaryotic hyphae the tip cell will show karyogamy karyon is nucleus gamy is fusion so both male and female nuclei will fuse together and will form a diploid nucleus as you can see in the last picture the the diploid uh, nucleus will further divide first meiotically then two times mitotically to form eight ascospores within that particular cell or within that particular structure what actually now we'll call it ascus so in each ascus there are eight ascospores formed and there are number of such asci formed within one developing cleistothecium at the develop at, at the end of development cleistothecium will appear a ball like structure with few uh, hyphal ornamentation and we'll just wait yes few ornamentations and at the maturity it will form a suture or will form a slit through which this asci will come out one by one each ascus is actually covered with a thin thin wall or vesicle like structure which will burst open and release this ascospores which will later on germinate and will form a new or will will cause a new infection in next season cleistothecium is a is a uh, sturdy thing which which can remain uh, live du during unfavorable season as you can see uh, cleistothecia are formed this is closer view of cleistothecium a ball like structure by by uh, different uh, ornamentations seen on on the surface of the cleistothecium you can actually identify which fungus it is which which genus and which species it is that can be identified by these ornamentations you can see few microphotographs of uh, cleistothecium sections 
this is ascus mother cell with a diploid nucleus uh, cleisothecium which is uh, at dispersal and uh, this is yet another cleisothecium which is having or which is actually dispersing these are these are number of si which are actually coming out of a cleisothecium this is a single ascus with eight ascospores you can you can actually count them inside and this is actually animation of uh, uh, ascospore formation at the tip of uh, uh, diploid or oh, sorry dikaryotic hyphae there is a fusion of uh, male and female nucleus mitot meiotic division followed by two mitotic divisions forming eight ascospores that is how the ericyphy shows its life cycle thank you so much for patient listening